Hi everyone, this is the Japanese Asanoha comical pattern or the hemp leaf pattern and in this episode I will show you how I build one jig to make all the angles required to make the Asanoha comical pattern. I will use one block of beech wood to make this jig. These are the dimensions of this block I'm using. You don't need to be strict about these dimensions but you might use them as a guideline. I will begin by finding the center of the beech block to cut the center dado in the block top and bottom. I will cut four angles on the four sides of this jig. 267.5 angles, 145 and 122.5 degrees. These are the angles required to make the Asanoha comical pattern. To establish the 67.5 degree angle, you need to make a 22.5 degree cut on the jig 90 degrees corner. I will be cutting two 67.5 degrees angles on the opposite sides of this jig, as this will be very useful when making the hinge pieces on the Asanoha pattern. Now set your miter gauge to read 22.5 degrees and make the cut. This should leave 67.5 degrees on the jig. Remember that the angle on your miter gauge is the angle your sew will be removing from your workpiece. And the angle left on the workpiece will be equal to 90 degrees minus the angle you read on your miter gauge. Now to cut 22.5 degree on the Kameko jig, we need to set the miter gauge to read 67.5 degrees and then make the cut. Let's test the accuracy of the angles we just cut. In this example, when using the jig to cut the comical strips angle, you will be removing 22.5 degree material and you will have 67.5 degrees left on the strips that you are cutting. I'm adding this sew curve to use this jig to cut strips to the same length.
On this side, I can cut the 22.5 angle. And when flipping this jig over, I will have the 45 angle. On this side, I can cut the 67.5 angle in addition to the 90 degrees curve to cut the comico strips to the same length. And flipping it over will give me another 67.5 degree setup with different length without altering the first one. The depth of the CNC bit was deeper than I thought and ended up making holes than letters. So I had to repeat it with less cutting depth. I hope this episode was helpful. If you have a question, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and happy woodworking.